Hey, welcome back to Window Cleaning Resource. And in this video, we're going to introduce the brand new Zero Carbon Fiber Gooseneck. You're watching windowcleaner.com. Get the gear, get to work, get on with life. Okay, very good. So, this is the Zero Carbon Fiber Gooseneck. It's a 12 inch and it measures from the elbow to the tip, 12 inches. You'll see that there's a painted red section which slides into your pole and then a uh, Euro threaded tip slides in to the uh, end of the gooseneck. You'll see this little tab fit slides right into the space, clamp down, and now you have an anti-spin tip. Why would you use a gooseneck? Well, there's basically two reasons why. You have deep ledges that you need to close out on. So maybe your ledges stick out to here. And if you had a normal pole, you're just not gonna get the right angle. So this helps you clean the whole window on commercial jobs. Old buildings have a lot of deep ledges on them. If you're working on like older municipal buildings in a downtown area, you'll find that they have those. The second reason why you would use this is you're working at heights 50 feet and above and even at those, uh, at those heights, your carbon fiber pole, even the carbon fiber, the high mod, will start to bend and be parallel, just about parallel with the building. And so when you go to scrub, your pole is going to bang up against the building. And so what this does is it pushes the pole away from the building. Now these come in eight, uh, 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches. So the higher up you go, the more you're going to have to push back from the building. And this is a 12 inch. In order to use this, you're going to have to have a separate setup for this. Now right now, uh, these are reinforced inside. So you can't run a hose through here. You're going to have to run your, your hose outside of the pole. And so here's how you would do it. I just happen to have a, an 18 inch boar's hair brush. And so you might have it set up like this. Uh, when you're working at heights too, it's kind of a better idea not to have a swivel because that brush can turn like that and the pole pole could slip off the building. You could lose control of it. So it's better to have it in a fixed position. It's also better to have an 18 inch because it just gives more stability to the pole as opposed to a 12 inch brush. So here I have my separate setup and this tubing that's specific to your gooseneck setup, you want it to be the length of whatever your maximum height is going to be plus about five or 10 feet. So if you're going up and you're using a 50 foot pole, you want 60 feet of tubing just for this setup. If you have a 60 foot pole, you're going to want about 70 feet of tubing just for this setup. It's going to be dedicated to the gooseneck. It's also going to require preparation before the job uh, so that you can easily slide that on and off. So you'll take this off first, you'll remove this whole tip and You'll pull all the tubing out and then you slide your gooseneck in like so. This also has a tab to clamp down and you'll work with, you'll work with the tubing outside of the pole. Now there's, there's uh, these are brand new. So the ones that are out right now, you cannot feed through the elbow. You can't feed it through the gooseneck, but in future models and iterations, you will be able to do that. So now you're ready to go. I have this on the destroyer pole and you can work like this. Uh, and as you go up, it will help help you uh, stay away from the building 
and also help you on deep ledges. So these are the brand new zero carbon fiber goosenecks, but you can find them at windowcleaner.com. If you'd like to get hooked up, you've got a big commercial job coming and you'd like some advice on it, give me a call. I will help you get set up. I'm Jordy from the Window Cleanse. This is Window Cleaning Resource on YouTube. Until next time, I wish you a good day in your business.